Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about advanced currency conversion in Power BI. If you are new here, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. I have here a bar chart and this slides her to switch currency type. But the problem here is, shall I choose this latest exchange rate, which is a conversion rate of yesterday? Or I need to select the conversion rate based on my order date? So here in this table, I have all old exchange rates. And we are going to apply some tricks in our DAX measure to match the order date from sales table. By default, it is in US dollars. The biggest challenge here is how to show different currency codes in same measure based on slicer selection. Format function won't work for bar charts because those text output can't be represented in bars. So how to solve this problem? If you look at the total sales measure, we basically need to find the unit price converted to the selected currency on the historical order date. Without further wait, let me show you this conversion technique, and then we will solve the currency code problem with a very different approach. So I am creating a new measure, total sales underscore currency. In this measure, first of all, I will check if currency conversion is selected or not from the slicer, and then I will use a sum x function, and quantity I will use as it is, but for the unit price, I will apply lookup value DAX function, and I will look up for the exchange rate for selected currency, and then also match the date with the sales order dates. If no currency is selected, we will show the actual total sales which is in USD. This is the first part of our solution. If you are thinking about currency codes, then don't worry. I will show you how to show the currency codes as well in a while. As that you can see, now I am able to select different currencies and my bar chart is changing accordingly. To format this, usually, people use format function, and I have already written the format for all these currencies based on selection. You can also use currency symbols. Let me first show you what is the problem, if I will use this inside format function in our new measure. So, I have copied the switch measure, and will wrap this within a format DAX function, and see what is happening. As said, this text measure can't be shown in the bar chart. And if we will switch the currency, we can only see the brand names. I am deleting this from my measure. And to solve this, I will take help of Tabular Editor. Tabular Editor can be installed as an external tool, which will be then listed under External Tool menu. Inside my Tables folder, I can create a calculation group and then a calculation item. Tabular Editor is a very powerful tool to manipulate the tabular data models. For a calculation item, it will give me two options. One is for expressions and another for format. Under expression, I can just mention selected measure and it will work with any selected measure. And if I will drop down here, I will see format string expression. At this place, I can paste my switch measure, which will format based on selected currency from the slicer. I can save and refresh it. And for my bar chart visual, I need to apply a visual level filter with my calculation item. And here we go, now we are able to see the numbers in selected currency format based on its historical forex rate on the sales order date. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting solutions in Power BI.